Hello and welcome back to another lecture. In this lecture, I'll show you how to register for your AWS certification exam. To register for your AWS certification exam, I want you to open Google. And in Google, I want you to type AWS certification exam in the search box. Once you type AWS certification exam, I'm going to press enter and it should bring you to this page. On your search results, the one you want is the one that says AWS training and certification. So the link is www.aws.training. I'm going to paste this link in the description. So I'm going to click this. Then it should bring you to this page. On this page, you are going to click sign in. You can either click it here or you can click it up here. I'll click sign in. Then on this page, I'm going to leave it on Amazon and all. So this represents your Amazon account. The signing you are going to use is the same signing you use for your Amazon account. And you can see that it is also mentioning it here. Use Amazon account, not AWS. And if you don't have an Amazon account, you can see it here. First, you have to create an Amazon account. To create an Amazon account, let me digress to show you just for a brief second. I'm going to open a new tab. You are going to go to Amazon.com. Then on amazon.com, you see up here where you see signing, where it says new customer, you click start here. Once you are on this page, you can see this is the page to create an account. You can enter your information here and click create Amazon account. That's all you need to do to create an Amazon account. Then once you've created your Amazon account, you can use that credentials to sign in here. I'm going to click sign in. Then on this page, I'm going to enter my credentials to sign in. I have multi-factor authentication set up for my Amazon account. That is why it is asking me for the two-step verification. Amazon has sent me a text message to my phone number and I'm going to enter the number they sent to me here. So the number I see is 522091. Then once I enter that number, I'm going to click sign in. So this is how we sign into the AWS certification. Remember to sign into this page you are signing in with your Amazon account, not your AWS account. And once you have signed in, next thing we can do here is we can click go to your account. And what I don't remember is if you have to create an AWS certification account. You can see it says, welcome back. You already have an AWS certification account. And if your page looks different, you may have to create an AWS certification account first. And you should find the information here on how to create one. You can see that I already have an AWS certification account and to go to my account, I'm going to click go to your account here. And that is going to open a new tab and it is going to bring me to the AWS training and certification. On the AWS training and certification, you have some information here that you have to fill out for the first time. For example, the first time you log in, you have to complete your profile here. And once you've entered all the necessary information, you can now register to take your AWS certification exam. To register to take your AWS certification exam, when you are on this page, you are going to click exam registration here. Then once you have select exam registration, you can scroll down and down here, you will see eligible exams. These are all the exams you can take. And you can see these exams are listed by categories. For example, you have foundational, under Foundational, you have AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner. Under Associate, you have the Developer Associate, Solutions Architect Associate, and the CSOP Administrator Associate. Then under the Professional, you have the DevOps Engineer Professional, the Certified Solutions Architect Professional, and under Specialty, you also have the Specialty Exams here. So all the exams are listed by categories. The first certification exam I want you guys to take after you have completed the course is the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner exam. Once you have completed that course and come to this page, you are going to see schedule with whatever entities you can schedule with here. So there are two different entities that I can schedule with. I'm not sure what yours is going to show. The first company is PSI, the second company is Parson. So for example, usually when I schedule for my exam, I always schedule with PSI. 
So you'll pick whichever one you want to schedule with. If I want to schedule with PSI, I'm going to click schedule with PSI here. And it is going to bring me to this page. And on this page, it is just giving me more information about the exam. And you can see the exam that I want to schedule is AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner. You can see the exam name here. You can see the confirmation number. The exam duration is 90 minutes. And these are some security procedures and also the required documentation that you need to take the exam. So once you've read all this information, the next thing you need to do is click schedule. And on this page, it is just telling me that this exam has more than one version and to make sure that I'm scheduling the right exam. Yes, I want to schedule the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner. I'm going to click continue. Then here it is asking me, how do I want to take the exam? Do I want to go to the testing center or do I want to take it from home? You can pick whichever one you want. The one that I've used in the past, I always go to the testing center because I found that very easy. So I'll click testing center. Then once you click test center, you are going to click continue. On this page, you are going to schedule your exam. To schedule your exam, the first thing you have to do is select your exam language. So I'm going to click this drop down and I'll select English. Then once you select that, it is asking you to know your location. I'm going to click allow. Then right here, you can see it is picking up my location. Even though this is picking up my current location, you can always customize this here by first selecting the country where you want to take the exam. So choose your country here. Once you have selected the country, next you can enter the city where you would like to take the exam. So for example, let's say I want to take this exam in Upper Marlboro, Maryland. I'm going to remove this address and I'm going to type Upper Marlboro in here. And you can see, once I start typing the city, Upper Marlboro came up, I'm going to select it. Next, you can pick the preferred month you want to take your exam. I would like to take my exam in January 2022. Then I will click Search Exam Center. Then once I click Search, it is going to find all the testing center that is close to the location I picked. You can see I picked Upper Marlboro and these are all the testing center that is close to Upper Marlboro. You can see they are ranked by one, two, three, four, five. And this testing center, you can also find their information down here. So you can see for location one, it is in Crofton. Location two is in Waldorf. Location three is in College Park. Location 4 is in Alexandria and Location 5 is in L'Oreal. There are even more testing centers that are not showing up here. If I click 2 and you can see there are so many testing centers. I can click 3 and there are so many. I'll come back to the first page number 1. For example, if I want to take my test in Crofting, I'm going to select Crofting here. Then once you have selected the location where you would like to take the exam, the next thing you have to do is pick the date that you want to take the exam. You can see the earliest date that I can take the exam at this location is Friday the 14th. And for Friday the 14th, they only have one available spot at 7 p.m. And if 7 p.m. does not work for you and you want to pick a different date, for example, I can select 18th. And you can see for the 18th, they have available spots at 12.30 p.m., 4.30 p.m., and 7 p.m. So pretty much what you can do is all these spots that you see in green, these are all the different dates you can pick for this location for the month of January. If you want to go to February, you can click this drop down. And for February, you will see all the dates you can pick here. So once you have decided the date you want to pick, for example, I'm going to pick February 2022. And I want to take it on Wednesday. I'll select Wednesday the 2nd. Then you can see all the available spots here. I'm going to pick 4.30 p.m. as the time where I would like to take my exam. So once you pick your date and the time, scroll all the way down and you are going to click continue. And on this page, it is asking you to confirm your schedule details and proceed. You can see the exam that I'm trying to schedule is the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner. It is giving me the information about the exam center here, the schedule date, the start time of the exam and the duration of the exam. So once you are happy with all this information, you are going to click continue. 
And there you go, it has scheduled the exam for me. To complete this registration, what I have to do is make payment on this page. And on this page, you can go through this information to make your payment. I'm not going to complete it because I don't want to schedule for this exam. And you can see this exam is going to cost $100 and you can acknowledge it here. And once you acknowledge it, you can click pay now. Once you've registered for the exam, all you have to do is go on the date that you registered to take the exam and make sure you follow all the information of things you have to bring to take your exam. You can follow the same step to register for your solutions architect exam. This is how you register for an AWS certification exam. Thank you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.